sometimes mothers don't know best. The New York Post recently covered a shocking story titled Mom 48 Stole Her Daughter's Identity to Start College and Date Younger Guys. This is like the ultimate catfish. And the mom decided that she was going to steal her daughter's identity to do it. The mom was estranged from her daughter, Lauren Hayes, who was 21, and used her identity to enroll into Southwest Baptist University. For over two years, Oglesby posed as her daughter, enrolling into college, and get this, dating a bunch of younger guys. She had several boyfriends who she had convinced that she was in her 20s, and she also created a Snapchat where she was in a bunch of younger looking clothes with a bunch of young filters and basically was able to keep up this ruse for two whole years without anybody figuring it out. This mom was so blatant that not only did she obtain a social security card in her daughter's name, but she took it a step further and applied for a Missouri driver's license in her daughter's name. Laura had no shame. She got her social security card. She has her driver's license. What else does a student need? Let's apply for some financial aid. She was awarded $9,400 in federal student loans and almost $6,000 in Pell Grants. So she had a lot of money to go on dates, buy clothes, and just once again, live this young lifestyle that she'd submerged herself in. Finally, after two years of posing as her daughter, Oglesby got caught. Someone suspected that she had committed bank fraud or some fraudulent activity, and this whole ruse came crashing down. She now faces five years in prison, and the fraudulent mama pleaded guilty to deceiving the Social Security Administration and to Southwest Baptist University. And her daughter, probably who is, you know, mortified and estranged from her mother with good reason, has yet to comment on the story at all. When I was in college, I actually started dating a guy and he said he was 21. And, you know, after our second date, I remember looking at him and going like, how old are you again? Because he was just really smart, but not just book smart, like world smart. And he looks at me and he goes, yeah, about that, I'm actually 31. So he was a whole decade older than me. And he said, you know, I was afraid if I told you my real age right at the beginning, you wouldn't date me. But that was a straight up, I guess, real life catfish. He just lied about his age. If Laura had just been honest with these guys that she was dating, I'm sure they would have after, you know, an initial like shock been like, you're still the same person that I fell in love with. I would love to continue pursuing this relationship. So clearly Laura looks like she's in her 20s. So she doesn't have to pretend to be somebody else. I think the moral of the story with catfishing is it's important to embrace who you really are because the person that you're gonna find is gonna love you for you.